one of the things that uh, Ms. Herrick gave all of us who worked with her um, was, and also Mr. Fly, who was the head of the music department, they were both excellent teachers, and <clears throat> they both gave us incredible work ethics. If we chose to take it, you know, I mean, what they let us know as students was that to make beautiful music, or to create an effective scene, or to make a, an effective and exciting play or piece of theater, you have to apply yourself very hard and the discipline yourself and be rigorous about it and be dedicated about it and show up and show up on time and learn your lines and speak loudly enough so everyone can hear you. I will never forget Ms. Herrick standing at the back of the auditorium <laughs> yelling <out. laughs> up to me on the stage. It was my first play on Topeka High, on the Topeka High stage of my sophomore year and I was doing Life Spirit. And she said, Janie, I went by Janie then. She said, Janie, if you can't be heard, you don't deserve to be on stage. <laughs> and I thought, wow. That, that, I carry that with me to this day. And you know, a lot of young people who are being trained now are being trained mostly for television and film. And when you're on a movie set and you're acting, I was shocking me when I started doing movies. They speak softer than we speak in life because they're, they have a microphone yeah. attached to them somewhere very close to their mouth, so they don't have to. So they get this one all the time. Mm -hmm. and that doesn't translate to the stage, needless to say. And um, I'm just so grateful to Ms. Herrick for teaching me that the only way I deserve to be there is if I can be heard. And because the, base, the basic idea was that I got from both Mr. Fly and Ms. Herrick, that these art forms were about reaching out and touching people's hearts and communication. And the most basic thing, of course, is being heard. You know, that if you can't, you cannot reach people. You cannot say, hello, come to the party, watch what's going on here, without, you know, being able to project who you are, not only uh, vocally, but also psychologically, emotionally, physically, etc.